This is Melissa Ware, and you're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you by the That Sounds Fun Network and in partnership with the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. For our scripture today, I'm going to finish reading from Ephesians 3. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word. Good morning, I'm your host Melissa Ware, filling in for Michael this week. Let's get to the news. The U.S. State Department ordered the partial evacuation of embassy staff from Niger's capital Niamey yesterday due to last week's military coup in the West African nation. The Pentagon suspended security cooperation, including counterterrorism training with soldiers in Niger following an attack on the French embassy in Niamey Sunday by coup supporters. Secretary of State Antony Blinken made clear that the release of President Mohamed Bazoum and the, end quote, restoration of the democratic order, end quote, is essential for continued security in the country. Next, the U.S. and Mongolia will sign an open sky civil aviation agreement, Vice President Kamala Harris and Mongolian Prime Minister El Oyun Erdin said on said yesterday in D.C. at the start of discussions focused on Russia, China, and economic development. Their meeting in D.C. comes as the Biden administration works to ease tensions with China and Russia's ongoing war in Ukraine. The U.S. has open sky civil aviation agreements with more than 130 countries. Uh, These kinds of agreements grant airlines from both countries the right to operate in each other's countries. It liberalizes airline regulations and imposes safety and security standards. The deal is supposed to give Mongolia a U.S.-backed alternative for economic development since Mongolia relies heavily on Russia and China in its economy. Yesterday, Robert Bowers, the gunman who in 2018 killed 11 worshippers and wounded six others at Pittsburgh's Tree of Life Synagogue in the deadliest ever attack on Jewish people in the U.S., was unanimously sentenced to death by a federal jury. The decision to sentence the gunman to death had to be unanimous. If not, Bowers would have been sentenced to life in prison without parole. It's the first federal death penalty imposed under the Biden administration, which has put a moratorium on executions. Finally, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Sophie Grégoire Trudeau are separating after 18 years of marriage, which is a high-profile split for Canadian politics. An Instagram post published on both Trudeau's and Grégoire Trudeau's accounts appeared yesterday. The message said, and quote, after many meaningful and difficult conversations, we have made the decision to separate. As always, we remain a close family with deep love and respect for each other and for everything we have built and will continue to build. For the well-being of our children, we ask that you respect our and their privacy, end quote. They have three children, Uh, Trudeau recently reshuffled his cabinet and will be looking at a re-election most likely in 2025. Let's end it there for today and let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. That's it for this week and Michael and I will see you on Sunday. Have a great day.